So, let's talk about it. There's been so much talk all around social media regarding men going overseas to find love and relationships and happiness with women. And while that could be the initial thing that is sparking a lot of men to travel and go overseas, it's not the end all be all. And I feel like we need to be a lot more genuine with the conversation regarding men going overseas instead of trying to dumb it down and water it down into being only about a bunch of incels or men that are socially awkward and out of place not being able to find women or love. As a matter of fact, a lot of the men that I see that are traveling and going overseas, especially on my platform, are not the unaccomplished, unattractive incel men that have a very difficult time getting women. Oh no. Getting women is not the issue. It's getting the quality of women that they are looking for that is the issue. See, these men understand their value and their worth. And what they're trying to do is find women that also understand their value and their worth and that are ready and willing to give him the love, the support, and the honor and respect that he needs in exchange for all that he is able to offer to a woman and a family. And although there could be many women right here in the U.S. that could be great wives, great women, great mothers, great significant others, and so on and so forth, there's just more of an abundance of the women that, again, would be more complimentary and beneficial to a man's life maybe overseas. But enough of all of the talk as far as men traveling overseas for women and romance. Let's really start to dive into the real levels and layers as far as why we're starting to see more and more black men especially getting their passports and traveling elsewhere. The real reasons why men are getting their passports and traveling overseas is because they have found that not only are the women maybe more traditional as far as what they are looking for in a wife or a significant other, but they have also found that there are better business opportunities and room for their own personal growth and expansion. When men traveled, they saw that the opportunities were endless and that their U.S. dollars stretched further, making it even more possible to live a more comfortable and enjoyable lifestyle. Countless Black men, especially on my platform, have expressed to me that they have found a new level of comfort and peace once they traveled overseas, many of which are deciding to pack up altogether and start completely over in a new country because of the more peaceful environments, experiences, and financial cushion. Let's be clear, although the women could be a reason many men are grabbing their passports, many men are looking far beyond romance. They like the financial freedom, the change in pace and environment, and the endless business opportunities. You even have some men that are not looking for love or romance at all. They just want to live and enjoy their lives in places that are more suitable for their needs. Yet. You have so many people all over social media trying to condemn these men, especially black men for traveling, making such claims that these men are only grabbing their passports because they are failures and losers that can't win at home. I find this to be extremely unfair to write these men off when women have been traveling and doing whatever we want to do with no shaming or condemning involved. When women travel or seek new options, this is oftentimes followed by praise and an outpouring of love and support. Nobody ever says that women are divesting or traveling due to them being failures or losers that could not qualify for what they are looking for, which again is extremely hypocritical. So, as you can see, there is way more to men traveling overseas and expanding their options. It's going way further and way beyond just women. Men are looking for more freedom, more stability, more security, more fulfillment within their lives. That is the real reasons why men, especially black men, are starting to travel overseas. 
And as a woman that is all for everybody being able to find peace and happiness within their lives, I'm all for men going out and seeing what can make them ultimately happy. I mean, all day, every day, women are constantly encouraged to travel or go where they're celebrated and not tolerated and explore new options. So who are we to try to diminish men or hinder men and hold them hostage from being able to do what makes them happy and explore whatever their heart's desires? So with that being said, brothers, go and get your passports or don't. Either way, that is your decision and you should not be shamed for it. But you guys let me know, why are you traveling and getting your passports or why are you not? Let's keep the conversation going down below. Tanika Marie, we're out.